On this week's MetPy Monday, find out how to typeset your equations, symbols, fractions, and other mathematical things on your matplotlib plots. Hello, I'm John Lehman, a software engineer at Unidata. On this week's MetPy Monday, I want to talk to you about how to add symbols, equations, and other mathematical things to your plots that you make with matplotlib using LaTeX or LaTeX, however you prefer to pronounce it. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and get some data made to make a basic plot here. So we're going to start off with import matplotlib.pyplot is plt, import numpy as mp. Then we will make some data. So x, we're going to use the a range for array range. So this is 0 to 99. And y, let's just make that the square root of x. So now that we've got that data, we're going to want to make a basic plot of it. The first thing we need to do is make our figure object. So plot.figure. In this case, I'm going to specify a fig size of 10 by 8. Next, we make an axis. So I'm going to say fig add subplot, one row, one column, first plot. And then we will do our actual plotting command x, y, and I'm going to give it a line width of 3 just so it's nice and bold in our plot. Okay, so there we get our default plot, which doesn't look too bad. I'm going to go ahead and set some limits on it that I know are going to line up with the limits on our data here. So let's set the x limit, set x lim, in this case, we'll go from 0 to 100. And ylim, let's go from 0 to 10. OK, that looks a little bit better to me anyway. But now let's say we want to label that line with the equation that we use to draw it. Now, this is a simple equation, but it does have you know the square root symbol and more math type looking things. So the easiest way to do this, of course, would be axe.txt. And in this case, I'm going to put it at data coordinates x70, y of 9. And then we could say something like y equals square root of x. And give it a font size of 14 to make it easier to see. That is what the equation would be, but it doesn't look that great. We can do quite a bit better than that. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make this a raw string, and then we're going to format it with the appropriate LaTeX formatters here. So I'm first going to enclose the entire thing with dollar signs to say this is part of the string that I want you to parse as math text or LaTeX. Okay, so y equals, that's all fine. We put a slash in front of square root, as that's a tech special designator that will draw the square root symbol. I'm going to replace the parentheses with curly braces. Now, if we run this again, we see we get that sort of italic math tech font, and we have the square root symbol over x. Now, you may not know all of the particular LaTeX formatting characters or how to do this. Towards the end of the video, I will show you a website that's handy to go look at, and there are a ton of resources online for learning tech. I highly encourage it as I think it is one of the better document preparation systems out there personally. But we can go a little bit further with this. So I'm going to set some labels. So we'll say, let's say set the x label, and we will give it the creative name x value, and a font size of 16. Now for the y label, Let's make it some variable, let's say it's a, a capital theta. So set y label. 
got a typo there. Then remember we enclose in dollar signs, theta. And in tech with the Greek characters, if you capitalize the first letter, it will be a capital. And if it's lowercase, it will be a lowercase. So for example, lower and uppercase theta, row, whatever. And font size of 16. And now if we run that, we see we have a capital theta and X value. Just one more quick example. I'm gonna put another equation on here. Okay, so we'll add this one more equation for density, rho equals mass divided by volume. So axe.txt, we'll put it over at 59. Go ahead and fill out the rest of our function call here, then we'll go back. Slash row equals, and then to do a fraction, it's slash frac, and two sets of curly braces. In the first set of curly brace, we put the numerator, so mass. In the other curly brace, we put the denominator, volume. And now we have our equation, rho equals mass divided by volume. As one last resource that I wanted to point out, you can Google and find numerous examples and sometimes even the equation that you're looking for typeset by somebody, especially if it's a long equation, say the QG equation, something that would take you quite a while to typeset. You want to make sure that you look and see if anybody's already done it and made it available. But there is this very handy online document that I will link to in the notes below the video. And you can find all kinds of mathematical symbols that tech can draw here. So this is a nice way to browse and say, oh, I need something that looks like this. So there's fractions, there's square roots. You can have all kinds of symbols as well as things like integration and so on. I hope that you found this useful. As always, don't forget to contact us if you have any problems with all the support information down below in the video description. Thank you for joining me on this week's MetPy Monday.